Are we ready? Are we ready for the brand new class? Is anyone else freaking ready? On the beat, beat, on the beat, 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 Hello, hello, and welcome to Office Hours with Six Intern. I am your host, Six Intern, and this is my office, and we are here together for Office Hours today. Ladies, gentlemen, boys, bloaters, girls, beeves, ragweeds, and even shimmer skins, how are you all out there tonight? I hope everyone's having just a darn good time testing out our brand new class, The Seer. So... So, without much further ado, without much further ado, we're just going to get doing what we do best, and that's that's playing with the seer, all right? All right? You think we're ready? I think I think we're ready. I think we're really just ready. D -d Damn, son, where'd you find this? Okay, that's that's incredible. Yeah, that that makes every everything better. How do you? All right, ladies, gentlemen, let's do this thing. So today, big news. Uh, what do you know? Wednesday once again strikes true, and today we have a brand new class to play, and it's the seer. See me applying a potion here, potion there. Trying to get some of my higher level ones just on deck, ready to go. Because, you know, that's what we do. We use the high level heroes in this house. Now, put your other hat back on. Dag says the hat stays on. What do you think, audience? What do you think? What would be the most mythic way to approach it? The mythic squad. The people's guild. For making monsters. Can't be killed. All right, ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen. So first, I think you know I'm gonna test out this seer. Let's do some funny. Let's do something funny. Let's do something funny together, guys. Oh, I gotta complete that quest. I gotta do that one. Uh, where are you at, Galfi? There you are. Got the Doug Hype busy and the bloater ready to go. I wish I had a blindfold, Eric. I really wish. I thought about it. Don't don't hate. I did think about it, and I just I, I wasn't worth the effort on my end. It was better to just tease Maddie about the pirate guess, um, because that seemed that seemed funny to me. So anyway, gotta just gotta stand pot this guy. And then uh, I'll be able to find an archer, I think, relatively easily. But yeah, I'm going to try that stamina or that speed stuff. Since I do have the speed guy, I might as well see what it does. Right? I feel like that just makes sense. I feel like that just makes sense to try that out. Has anyone tried any fun builds with our dear friend? Oh, wow, you're really close to leveling up. Our dear friend, the seer. If you've tried anything, let me know in the chat. So uh, this is the, the this was the very first build I tried. I snuck one in before the reset with this level 15 or 16. I don't remember, but I think 15 uh, mythic. And it was Warstone, Artificer, Time Sink, which I actually kind of dug, and uh, Chrono Purge, and Divination. So I picked Chrono Purge, Time Sink, and Warstone just because they all do damage, and I really wanted to test out the damaging abilities. I don't I don't really need Chrono Purge, I think, against any of the two funs or two hunts that we have right now. Just because there's not too much delay action involved and it's really only if you have a demon box spawn and you can try to avoid it. So I'm gonna try this rejuvenation stone out instead. And then um Divination Clairvoyance. I think um there's a typo here. Maybe I'm wrong, but this one, I thought it was supposed to be one skill the ally cast does 80% less MP. And they, then this one was like two skills at 40. So I think that's a typo. Um, I'm going to do the two skills at 40 and just see what that does for me. 
you can, I think, cast that on the seer itself. So let's take this into the, oh, wait, actually, no, wait, I forgot all about what I was actually doing. So that's what I went initially, but this time, I'm gonna try this time swell ability. And what this does is it increases the agi of a target member by a bunch for four turns, and you gain a resistance to slow for four turns. So the slow is interesting for Mighty Gust, right? But also mostly just if you give my my shapeshifter more agi, it's like he's gonna have such a crazy evasion, I think. And then let's give him 5% haste, because I think that'll just be fun. Um, we'll keep time sync, I think. Oh, maybe this barrier. I might try this barrier. Wow, I kind of dig that. Let's try. I haven't tried Sanctuary at all yet. I'll try that one. And then um, Rejuvenation. So this is a pretty support heavy build though. No damage at all. Maybe I do want to have Time Sync just to have a little bit more damage. Range damage. Hmm. Yeah, I'll, I'll do it. I might regret it later, but I'll do that. Let's dive in. Let's dive in. All right, and then I realize now I got to kind of shrink up my screen a little bit here so it all fits. There we go. Hi. Hi, everyone. There's the screen. There you have it. the whole thing now. All right, checking out the chat. We got tons of people in here. Welcome all. Toonfed was worst. Welcome. Mega, Skiller, KP, Dags, Jeremy, Eric, The Beave. What in the DFK is this, sir? Worm, Rubito, Hope. And yeah, that's that's everyone. I think I've said everyone. All right, all right, all right. Let's do it. Let's do it. So with the five percent haste, look at that. Look at that. See, just look at how far out in front my shapeshifter is. Like he he just he gets turn zero. Everyone else gets turn one. He's at the end of turn one and the start of turn two. It's kind of sweet. Um. But I was kind of hoping that against the box with that 5% haste, I'd have like, I'd be already starting ahead of the uh, big box. So it is a little bit less impressive than I thought. I'm, ah, I don't have a piercing arrow. That's annoying. I normally play her with a piercing arrow archer. It's all right. Oh, big crit. Can't attack that again. Miss. That. All right. Time, all right, time swell. Let's do this. So this is the Agi party member by 19. So what, just for context. I have 64 right now, so that brings me to 83. Ho, 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 ho. All right, let's, talk, let's try it out. I want to see if it shows my like updated evasion stats, but I want to see what the enemies do to me first. All right. Still hit me, so not impressed so far. <laughs> Sample size of one. I don't know. Let's see, your, let's see what your evasion is. Okay, so it only went up like 2%. That's still really good, especially when you throw on the foresight. I do break 30 then at that point in evasion. So, eh, I will accept. I will accept, and we'll see how it plays out. Uh, re resistance is slow, though. Got to make sure I have that up before the Mighty Gust comes out. Keep popping damage on this big block. Do a little bit more. They're going to cast some cheaps, probably. They're going to get confused. Everything's going to happen. I'm going to, I'm going to test out, uh, maybe I think Warstone. Yeah, drop one of those next would be good. No, I don't have Warstone. Uh, what was the one I'm thinking of? Time Sync? I like Time Sync. Warstone animation is epic, Mega. I do really like the Warstone animation. It's so cool. Oh, see, so this is a perfect example of, like, why I'm super into the channeled abilities. So you see it's my turn here, and I'm going, oh, no, those guys are going to freaking interrupt me, right? But but 800 channel. Look at I'm I'm ahead of all of them now. No interrupt possible. There we go. That's how you use those abilities. Is right, like, right there. Pretty amazing example that that just lined up for me. Yeah, damage to all of you. Get a little heal out. Oh, I wish I had that dispel. Damn it, of course I wish I had the dispel. Could see if I could remove cheap. Um, but, alas, I don't have it. We're going to let cheap fall off of, I mean, one of them at least. Falling off the back one now. Body slam. Inbound does that evasion. I don't have the evasion. No! Oh, no, I didn't have it anymore. It's okay. It's okay. I do have the healing coming for him in between the next two rounds. Ingrid's dead. Ingrid is dead. Body slam wrecked me. Might be game over here, guys. Might be game over. 
We're gonna kill one, force out. Ooh, oh yeah, no forcing out of anything because it's uh. Wow. You're still stunned. You're not doing shit. All right. Um. Hmm. Get a full auto while I can. Resurrect would be really cool right here. I don't know if anyone knows what Resurrect is, but it's gonna slap. Big miss. Without the buff. Uh, I didn't use any clairvoyance that game. Drop another rejuvenation. Does it give me a leapfrog? It does not. But we already have a cheap up. So let's just do that. Keep pumping damage onto the Mombok. I mean, this is going to be really tough without my archer and with this guy stepped back to the way he is. Really bad. Maybe I should put him in the middle. That might be the call. This healing is potent, though. Like, I really dig it. You get a bunch of healing. You get a little healing over time and a big up front heal. It's just you have to deal with that one channel. I dig it. Yeah, I'm just going to flee this one without my archer. It's kind of useless. All right, so that's a point against the, you know, Agi one. I did lose my first time with the other build, though. Not going to lie to you all. That would be lying of me. I can't do that. I can't do that to you. I can't do that to you. Ooh, we got more people. Welcome, Renpen, Just Crypto, uh, 91 Karmas, Dr. J, and Franz. Welcome, welcome all. The, Franz, that was a great show you just did with uh, Wowie and Just. I thoroughly enjoyed it. It, it was a fun, fun listen. Uh, yeah, I really liked everything you guys were talking about. It made a lot of sense. And thank you for telling everyone to come watch my show, which is, you know, the nicest thing anyone's ever done for me. But like, there's no difference between now not and later now in that example I showed. So that's, I mean, kind of the point I was making. Because like, I think I can do it, eh, maybe not all the way here. Won't get all the way. It does get all the way. Like watch, see, so like, oh, now, right? Okay. How many enemy attacks are between now and the end of that channel? Like if, unless there's a dot that's gonna kill you, in which case like, yeah, I get that, that, that makes sense. But just generally speaking, there's going to be no cost in terms of enemy turns with this heal right here. Boop. See, so. Uh, well, you, I just gave you one. Just gave you an example right there. There was one earlier. That's a good point. You just got here, though. Good reminder. Good reminder. Uh, huh, huh, huh. I'm just going to let fire off this rapid shot. Let the dice fall where they may. Oh, uh, they don't fall very well. One on each and a miss on the back. Ooh, big confuse on the seer. Got two turn confuse. Uh-oh. It's okay. He's going to be doing basic attacks. That's not too bad if he hits himself. Just can't do any of the fun stuff that he does in the meantime. Big miss. Um, so I'm going to try to drop a time sink. Ah, why don't I just use clairvoyance, give... Pierce, 53 Pierce for two turns. That's so sweet. Let's see what happens with that. Clairvoyance. All right. Next two skills cost 40% less MP. Big miss. That's 10 MP, so, and it's 8 MP. So I'm saving lots of mana here, obviously. I don't think this is how you're supposed to be using it. Maybe like on a repeating shot would be ideal circumstance to use that ability, right? Or maybe the other one would be better for a repeating shot, but even so, something more than the, the really low health mana, or low mana archer abilities I'm using. Interesting thing that just happened there. So these uh, delay effects can crit, right? So you saw that, you saw that crit right there on the heal over time from the delay. That was cool. Nifty, nifty. All right. A heal in the hand is worth shit in the bush, says Franz. That's great. Nice seer hat, or is that a zerker hat? Yes, no, this is the next class, is it not? That, that's what hat this is. That's all I got. That's all I can give to you, is, is that. Uh, yeah, so if I slow this guy, that would be sweet. I'd get that turn advantage there. Does It works? Nice. Oh, and you're dead. Bye, Ingrid. 
Goodbye, I should have healed you. Oh, triple miss. What the shit, dude? All right. Uh, you just go ahead. What? How many? You have two turns to small stone. You do that. You'll have rapid shot next turn. So that's good. Uh, you just you keep doing your thing, buddy. Yep. All right. You drop rapid shot after the heal, obviously. I like that heal. I mean, I gotta say, I like that heal. I I I know I understand, friends. I need it now. It's my money, and I need it now. But like, that heal seems good to me. And you'll note that uh, the I already had the bomb box slowed before she got exhausted, but. So I, that way I don't have to deal with this slow resistance that you get from being exhausted. So that's another interesting point there. I, li I like the way that worked out. I didn't plan it, but I do like the way that worked out. I like to be not blind. I may have too strong of a preference for it. I will admit that. Uh, let's use you there. Basic attack. Got the wand coming in. 50. Nice. And then Galfi, you do that. All right, will I have enough damage though to finish off the mom? That's a really interesting question. I'm not sure I will. Well, especially not with that kind of shit. Here comes my time sink damage. Really wish I had the war stone right now. That would be so nice. Oh, I could use time swell on this guy. Let's see what that does. All right, so I'm increasing your Agi by 19. How much do you have right now? 23 starting with. Okay. 162, yeah, I'm definitely not gonna get the kill. So I think I wanna leave that dude in the back alive. What do you have? 1574, I can't get you below 400. Um, we'll just do a Basic attack with you, heal with the shapeshifter onto the archer. Let her hatch it. Use like, I don't know, multi-shot on the egg or something. Gotta, ah, I'm gonna have to drop another heal on the shapeshifter though. That may have been a bad call to use that potion on the archer. May have been, may have been. Alrighty, uh, let's, yeah. Let's see what I can do with that. Only one thing between me and him. And I think I'm going to kill it anyway. Right now. Because he just cast cheap again. Idiot. Shouldn't have cast that cheap. Idiot. Alright. And then I think, yeah, just go for this multi-shot rapid shot combo. Is the call. The egg is back there. Okay. Cool. Cool. Get the heal going off. Very nice. Body slam incoming. No, nope. beak strike. Dodge. All right, all right. So the question now becomes, ooh, big freaking miss there. It's going to depend on what this archer turn is like. If I get a daze on that egg, it's easy peasy life, but I didn't get one. Hopefully, I get this hit with my shapeshifter to finish off the big block. Gonzo, all right. And now, uh, really wish I had Warstone. Warstone would be perfect right here. Um, hmm. Delay 30 is probably too long even. You still have the Agi buff, doesn't stack. Uh, you lose it next turn, though. I don't think that really gets you much, though. Let's see. Ah, it's tough. This is a tough one. Because on the one hand, I really wish I had Rapid Shot right now. Yeah, I think I'm just going to pass turn. Doesn't get me a leapfrog, which is sad. But there was nothing productive to be done there anyway. Yeah, doesn't help me much. Gonna get a demon for sure. 
now I wish I had that barrier ability. Oh, wow. You are just missing like a king right now. <laughs> oh, no. I'm going to lose. I'm probably going to lose because I have this archer build, in all honesty. This archer build is not great for this... Uh, this part of the fight at all especially since i just use my one ability that like isn't bad isn't horrendous oh no i don't know i don't know how i feel about this agi one agi ability and maybe i just need more practice with it but i really wish i had warstone a lot i feel like i could have closed this game out really well with warstone we will see Luck may, you know, favor me. Doesn't look great, though. Hmm, maybe. If I can get just some damage in. Can I slow you? And resist. Resist the slow, because he has a barrier, maybe. Uh, yeah, you are just not ideal right now. Miss. Basic attack. 38 damage. Let's see what it does. I'm not going to get enough damage in before that Dark Destruction comes. There's Gravity Scramble. I think I just let the Archer go. Because it's going to be a kind of a liability. Aside from Small Stone. Yeah, Mega is loving War Stone so far. Gosh, you are just missing like a prince. Um, how much mana do you have? 23, 16. So you don't need this yet. Um, hmm. Not really helpful. Maybe. Honestly, what I should do is just probably throw a heal on it, but it's going to die to this dark destruction. Ooh, and now so is the Seer. Seer is also set to die to the Dark Destruction, but it's okay. I will just let this one play out as it was meant to. Everyone dies to Darth Dark Destruction except for the Bach. It got a move in beforehand. Oh, that was so bad. Time Sync gets the win. Thank you, Time Sync. Thank you, Seer. Thank you. All right. That's, so that's that Agi build. I really missed Warstone. I don't know. I might be addicted to Warstone. Might be addicted to it. Mega, welcome. Welcome to the chat. Apex, welcome to the chat. Charges Mask Shapeshifter. Yes, yes. Yes, indeed, good sir. I see you also have fine taste. Well, I mean, Fran says that, you know, that something is less messed up than uh, the Charger mask really being a boar's skin and face. But, like, that's what they did. You know, that's how, that's how you make armor and stuff. Okay, woo, I got to level up Ingrid here. That's exciting times. When, when it's Ingrid's time to level up, I, I kind of just do it. I kind of just do it, chat. You're just going to have to bull with me right now. All right. Okay. Bull on with me. Uh, do I have any mokashas? No, I'm going to need to buy some of those too. But I can do that at the meditation circle. All right. R reset this. Uh, filter to archer. I, I'm like a day behind, and that's I got this backlog piled up. Give me the swap pet trader. There we go. And we're off to the races. So this is Ingrid. She is one of my luck archers, but like, you know, not ideal. 14, 44 luck at 15 or 14. Okay, so maybe she can you know, turn it around here with this roll. Um, I like everything about her. She's leveling up pretty damn well, to be completely honest with you. I'm going to do Vit, I think, on the secondary just because I have... Ah, Let's do Agi. Let's do Agi. Greater Fortune Crystal. So that gives me 
two greater than 50% chances um, by a significant margin, too. So I like those odds. I think it's good. Start it. Fire it up. Excited for her to hit 15. Really excited. Seer was gone but not forgotten, says Just Crypto. Yeah, that was that was a pretty exciting ending. I, I you know, I'm glad it ended that way. I'd actually forgotten that I set up that time sink, like it, even before the egg. You know, I don't know, Jeremy. It literally would be your best archer, but I compare myself to Skiller and the Olafs of the world, and I don't even know if they're the best. Honestly, it's just he somehow makes me feel like less of a man. There's a word for that. Oh, that's right. That, that he makes me feel like an alpha. Yeah. Anyway, let's see how it goes. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Lady Luck, smile upon us. Three. Ah, oh, none in the rarity. And both of them, though, the result of that stone or crystal. Pardon, crystal. All right, I can work with that level up. I wish I'd gotten one more in Dex, but I like two in Agi. Can't ever be upset about endurance. And you know, two points spread across Int and Wisdom seems fair to me. Only three mana points. That's okay. 43 HP medium roll. Good stuff. Good stuff, Ingrid. Could go for a large roll on your HP. Would love that. I would love that. All right. Let's go back to the tavern again. Uh, I, so I was doing something in the Mythic Squad Discord. It was kind of this secret thing. And, um... I said I would do a wheel of spin for people who reacted to something that I said in there before my show tonight. And so I have that list of people who reacted. And I'm going to throw them on the spin wheel right now. They are 91 Karmas, Mosh. Uh, actually, only eight people because one of them was me. I put the reaction up. So 91 Karmas, Mosh, Darth Warpath, Ryder. Crypto Baby H, Beav, 8 Bit, and Destroyer. You all get your names onto the Wheel of Names. And I'm going to give away one level 15 Seer. And so let's check them out. Let's check out my Seers. Sort them by level descending. Now, you're not going to get that mythic one. I'm just going to tell you that right now. All right. But I think I am willing to give you, you know, Tatiana here. Not great decks, but she's got good. She's got it good where it counts. I could also give you Sithippi. I might rather have Tatiana. Eh, it's a kind of a toss-up. Or you know, maybe I just go with Torvald. Hmm, kind of a tough call. Kind of a tough call. I think I got to give away Torvald. All right, so I'm gonna I'm gonna unequip his stuff. Break pet bond. And then visages remove equipment and yeah so let's make a note in my little secret document about this all right hero number and it is going to we got the wheel of names can you all see the wheel of names as yes, you can let us clear this and we're going to add and then you want to Darth Warpath. Thank you. Oh, did, oh wow, I closed it. That's great. That's really great. I hate I hate myself sometimes when I do silly shit like that. All right. Darth Warpath, Mosh, Ryder, CBH, Beav, 8-Bit, and Destroyer. One of you is getting Torvald Crag Drifter. All right, we're going to shuffle it. We're going to shuffle it. So the way you got this, everyone, just so you can all know, is uh, you're seeing my secret chat with Luke Eath Walker. It's where I send links to myself. Oops. Um, but I posted in there yet last night. Hey, tomorrow during office hours, I'll give away a level 15 seer to enter. Please react to this post. But yeah, wanted to keep it secret. It's just for the Mythic Squad regulars, the people who lurk the Discord hard, just come into the channels. So shout out to all of you. Appreciate your dedication and uh attention there so yeah it's level 16 seer i'm sorry i lied i'm sorry i lied it's level 16 not 15 sue me 
Oh, and Crypto Baby H gets it. I couldn't think of, uh, I'm really happy to see it go to such a good hero owner. So yeah, congratulations, Crypto Baby H. And thank you to all of you who entered into the contest to win Torvald. I will get the info later from CVH, but for now, let's get back to game time. Game time. Should I try a game with Torvald? Do you think CBH would be mad if I did that really quick? Just first, you know, made sure, took it for a spin. Ah, looks like his, his uh, st looks like his stamina is not up yet. Let's check out this guy. All right. Or what, what's Windwolf look like? 29 Agi. We're going with Windwolf. Wow, that shapeshifter subclass is wild or something. You got really lucky. That's nuts. 29. Uh, all right, then uh, I think I want to grab an Archer and a Warrior. Let's see here. We'll grab Dewdrop and Fast Mod. All right, so I got 15, 13, 12. That's actually not great, but we're going to do it. All right, Warstone. Do I go Artificer? Do I go Astrologer here with the haste? I think I'm going to go Artificer. I think I just like it too much. I kind of want to try this Barrier. No, no, I'm just going to go with this build that I tried that I really was a fan of. So you get the Artificer, Warstone, Time Sink, and Rejuvenation Stone. It's like a good blend of damage support with the crowd control on Time Sink. Even just getting that slow at an opportune moment is very good. So uh, one thing to note, though, is that when people... It'll show those stats on Torvald. I will. I will go back to it. I will go back to it. But yeah, I will show them. If you want to see these people's stats, we got the dynamic stat stories. Oh, anyone who doesn't know where the dot .s scores are, that's right here in this page. Dynamic stat scores. So like my strength S on this seer is 1.3%. My whiz S is only 6.6. .6. My int 4.9. You know, you see, so... Pretty easy reference, though. It shows those in game. And, and it heard, I think it was Franz or Wowie. Someone was talking about it the other night and want, wanted to see those. That's where you see them. Uh huh. We got 37 wisdom. That's kind of low. 28 int. What's our spell accuracy? Ooh. Ooh, 100%. Nice. Okay, so we're at, we're close, but they have some evasion, I know. Got the artificer dropping a shield right from the off. That's really nice. Going to take advantage of the fact that the box are, I think, hard programmed to, um, you know, do their normal attack on turn one, similar to the boars, and just drop that warstone, get a little extra initiative. Also, you know, all the initiative gaining stuff with Artificer is so nice because you get in turns faster, the seven turns, like, like they just burned through that shield already. She doesn't have a ton of health. So that makes sense. It's not a huge shield. Might not be worth it. I don't know. I'm still kind of torn on Artificer. It's like such a small benefit, but it's also kind of just really nice at the same time. Really nice at the same time. As usual, doing my thing to put damage on the front. Chicken. Warstone animation. Flying into the air. Miss. You missed. You missed. You dog. A cell wind wolf. Oh. I tried to hype you up, man. You're just dogging me like that. Until they cheap, I will just freely keep putting damage on the Mombok. Happy to do that. 209. I can't let him fall below 3... Let's just call it 330. Or 325, I mean. Go ahead and drop this. Big days. That's kind of nice. Ooh. All right, so they probably are going to cheap. So do I risk this Rejuvenation Stone? Kind of seems. It is before the Mombok, thanks to that daze. So let's see it happen. Fun background story. This hat was a Halloween costume. I was a pirate, obviously. Pirates are pretty cool. I wonder if we'll see one soon. Maybe we'll see a Berserker first, though. I wouldn't hate that either. 138, 127. Those were non-crits. Ladies and gents. Uh, hmm. What do I want to do with you? I suppose you can basic attack safely. Yeah, you can. Let's do that. 
getting closer to that 325 mark, still at 557. Big heel comes in, and the heels over time also coming in just before the body slam. Do drop white heels, so dead. Oh, so dead. Cheeps, no confuse yet. Doesn't hit the middle. Looks like I'm going to be good to go. Let's see if the luck is worth it. Let's see if I get that daze when I need it. Oh, didn't get it. Didn't get it. Did not get the daze when I need it most. Going to try one more time with this. Ooh, didn't get it. Didn't get it. I am just going to use a potion because, you know, it's my heal. I need it now. And that gives me more initiative closer to the artificer. So I can't, I've lost count of when that happens. Big crit though, renders it a nullity. Hmm. Uh, 441. Merc you. hit slow hit slow all oh, resisted so i do have slow resistance during exhaust so that was a risky maneuver i knew it going in all right so here's the big risk do i go for the small stone 89% hit chance, but if it hits, would could possibly do enough to kill the back one. Or do I just merc the back one? But then they're likely going to get egged by the Mombok. Decisions, decisions, decisions. I go for glory. All out win. Let's do it now. Double crit. Let, here we go. Ooh, didn't get it. But... 62 it's just out of auto attack i don't even think this guy's auto could get there hmm all right time to just drop a heal i guess i wish i could use time sync on one of these guys maybe i can that would be weird but maybe i can oh i have a time like i have a time sync way back there look at that <laughs> basic attack finish that off that, that timing actually works out a little bit. Oh, wow. Cannot believe you. You are so bad, dude. I gotta do it. It's unfortunate. Big waste of turns. I think this isn't going to do anything, because I think it was targeting the Mombok. We will see. Going to chug a mana potion here for my archer, though. Kind of tough. I want to do it on both of them. Hey, you see that offset eggs from the new initiative change? Just noticed that. Miss. Yeah, I think it attacked the middle. Or the Mombok, I mean. Um, so I will go Warstone. Ooh, I Leapfrog. Which one is that? Egg one, egg two. So I Leapfrog egg one. Which one are you? <laughs> well, I hope that one's egg one. Because that's the, I have a chance to kill that one, it looks like. Do I go for the crit, see if one of them crits? Or do I just go for the sure shot on egg one? I'm a gambler this round. Let's do the gamble. Doesn't crit either of them. Bad gamble. Bad gamble. Yeah, piss poor gamble, actually. But these things happen. It's all right. I'm going to lose to two demon box here now. But hey, I got that artificer shield. <laughs> all right. 90. Yeah, the Warstone came in. Would have been great if I had just piercing shot at that guy. He probably would have died. Um, so now here's the tricky one. Yeah, I think I just dropped the Rapid Onslaught now. 
should be able to take him out with this archer. Unless, dare I? Yeah, let's do it. Dare I? Go. Oh, three on that dude back there. Three. He was so close. He was so close. Oh, and you missed the basic attack. No, you dumbass. All right. It's all right. Um, hmm. I can gain some initiative here, right? I don't know if that actually helps me at all, but I'm gonna use his turn, just use a potion, because I do have the stone for a health and a mana potion. So we're gonna use potion health there, just to keep them alive through any shittery that they do there. Oh, gets the seer down. Ooh, 158. Miss. You go. Mana potion to her. Chad is probably losing it. Show those down. No, they're not. You guys aren't really talking at all. Nice. Hope, oh, Eric, KP, good to have all of you here. Good to have all of you hanging out as always. We will this time try to use the warrior. You're done. You're just so done, team, my team. It's my only hope. There we go. She's dead. He's dead. They're all dead. Let's just let's just do this the right way. Let's just do this the right way. Yeah, so much haste. Oh, they didn't even get that much haste. Wow, what a disappointment. What a disappointment. Goodbye, everyone. Clear the battlefield. I mean, I think that should be a draw, if anything. But it should be a draw. You know, that Dark Destruction misses, and I win that. You know? Just saying. That's the strategy. Hope Dark Destruction misses. I can't keep this on anymore. It's beginning to not feel good. And like, I, just, I, I like the look of this one better. I think that may have been the cause of the issues there, really. Just discomfort in the playing environment. 100%. Oh, Grady's here now. Now there's pressure. Now there's pressure, everyone. Grady's here. Grady's here. Now there's pressure. I don't know if I can deal with the pressure, though, of, of Grady. All right. We're going to try to Warstone first turn here. This time, or time sink, I mean. Nice. This time it hits. We get the slow out. Doesn't seem to do much. We're gonna just get piercing shot because I love it. I do love piercing shot. You know, if I had not had an audience, I probably would have done piercing shot when it mattered and, and won the game, but I decided to go for the flare. And that's always the wrong decision, I find. But it doesn't stop me. It doesn't stop me from doing it. It just, you know, it just is the wrong decision. Uh, it's all right, though. It's all right. Oh, I forgot. I don't have music on. There you go. That's better. That's what's been missing. That's what's been missing. Let's see. Maybe I might get interrupted, but eh. if it happens, it happens. I have a barrier. Keep doing this for now. 133. No confuse there. Nice. We made it. Made it through. Looks like for my channel. I think the eight, taking 800 off is just really good design. I think it, it represents like a design improvement. One of the things that I was talking about a while ago, like in my, I think it was the time I had Emerson on, I was saying like, look, the game, they're going to think of new ideas and want to incorporate them. I think this channel for a less than full turns worth of initiative, and maybe in some cases more than a full turns worth of initiative for something crazy, crazy, like I think that rep that reflects a change in design thinking that, um, 
we're going to continue to see imp- like uh, throughout the rest of the classes and eventually even brought back to the Archer, maybe. Maybe. Uh, you know, nothing is certain in life. Can't get below 325, call it. Send it. I do have big damage coming in from the time warp. Ooh, that's going to do enough, I think, to where I am, like, over the line. Well, maybe not, as long as the cheap's still up when it hits. But we'll just do this in case it doesn't get the taunt off. Um, we will use your turn. I'm kind of worried this dude's going to do body slam. I just have a feeling. So that's why I'm using a potion there. I'm just really worried about a body slam right now. Nice. Perfect. Wow. Great. Beautiful. Beautiful amount of damage done. Mighty Gust inbound, so I was close. My feelings were close, but not quite on point. The real question is, which one do I do now? 181 health you have, or was that 161? Okay. Could potentially get it with a crit. Or do I go for the safer route of killing that one? And certainty and all that. 22% chance of crit. 22% chance of crit. You, he could die to a taunt. That's why I kind of want to leave him up. And let's see what this does. How much health do you have? Not a lot. Yeah, we're just going to potion you again. I don't know. I might just go full damage build series. Might be the call for me. <laughs> I'm too addicted to health potions. They're so good. Degree of difficulty. Blindness. What's my chance of hitting you? 66. Two-thirds chance. How far forward do I move on that? Oh, I move ahead of the mom block. Yeah, we're doing that. Blind potion. Pecky Blinder comes out, one. Dead, good. Ooh, big slows. Now here's where I'm gonna take the biggest risk. Oh. It would actually be much less of a risk to cast Hunter's Mark. What does an anti-blind potion get me on the wheel? There's Mombach, and what is it? Where am I relative to that? Like pretty much dead on. It's hard to figure, hard to see which comes first. Ah, me. We're gonna go for that. I might need to heal potion her though. She's dead for sure. I don't have taunt. Lol. I am so screwed. I'm not so screwed. Mana potion for the win. Jumping the third turn. Gonna taunt that guy. You do the damage to the Mombok a little bit. 44 health left. You cast taunt. Hopefully hit. Fingers crossed. Biggest risk of the game right here. Hits. Good. He's dead. Okay, egg starts to hatch. Okay. Ooh, still questionable in many respects. Because I did it right before the Mighty Gust. That was my probably my mistake. If you had to just pick one, I mean, there's probably many. Oh, now I am for sure screwed. Good, good. well played, Mombok. Well played. No stuns, though. Maybe not as well played as I thought. You hatch. All right. 
I guess you do this. Pray hit. <laughs> All right, we're going to have a demon. And I have no health. Yeah, I'm screwed. This is just a screwed situation. I am just screwed. We'll watch it play out, though, since it doesn't matter. Because I'm gonna, both of them are going to die to his first attack. Oh, wow, they didn't. That is... That is freaking nuts, man. That is actually nuts. What? <laughs> I should have channeled the heel. <laughs> should have channeled the heel. Oh, weird. Status effect expired. It just. Oh, no, it hasn't gone off yet. That was all. You're dead. Great. Boom. Time sink. 133. Would have been so sweet if I'd healed myself instead of doing another one of those. Yeah, all right. All right, forfeit game. I didn't expect it to miss on the entrance, ominous entrance. All right, Crypto Grady Baby. Yeah, Dr. Ray Chaka Mosh, what's up? Love the animations for the seer. Seers are lit, spread the word. I'm trying to spread the word, Toon Fed, but I'm not doing a great job because I keep losing. But I think it's mostly a skill issue. Skill issue. That's my issue, is skill. Lack of lack thereof, primarily. Um, like, yeah, just, I, I ain't got it. I ain't got what it takes. But maybe, maybe I just need some Mythic Vibes, friends. Uh, hmm. So this time I'm going to get, yeah, I think I'm just going to Warstone first turn. Let's see how this works. Warstone first turn. Pecky blind, pecky blinds. Wow, you got blinded by the pecky blinds, you little dog. Maybe my damage over time. I have been missing quite a bit. Maybe that's the business. Damage, or er, my uh, hunter's mark. We'll try it out. One day. We'll try it out one day. Beavers are lit. Spread the word, says Beav. Yeah, baby. I mean, you've seen the word at the bottom of this stream here. Traits better slap. Beavs better slap. That's all I know. Oh, man. Do drop. Do. Your do is dropping, bro. Oh, your do is dropping very quickly, bro. Very quickly. You're going to die right now. He's going to die right now. Oh, he didn't. He didn't die right now. But I got the double stun, so it's not like I can do much for him. Uh, triple stun. Wonderful. Dead dewdrop. Oh, cheap again. No confuse. That's nice. Dead dewdrop. Fucking A. <laughs> Fucking A, damn it. That's all right. All is not lost. Somehow. Hmm. Man, if I had Dewdrop alive right now, that would be really cool because I got that daze. Dewdrop got worked though by the Chiefs and the triple stun. Triple stun, man. Oh, dude, you were getting work now, too, with the pecs. I don't know. Do I want to hold the time sink and do it later? Hunter's mark damage. Now I'm going to beak strike your ass. Yeah, we're going to flee this. It's not worth it. Not worth it. You quoted that Robert Redford boat movie? Okay. I don't... I know I should know who Robert Redford, Redford is. But I, I actually am terrible at recognizing actors by name. Uh, you know, of any kind. So it's a gift. 
to be so bad at things. It's a gift, really. Should I try like an all 11s team, all 10s team, see what's going on with them, with that tier? I should have some good heroes in that level. 30, 30 health, oof, that's low. I had a guy who had like a lot, 550. What's your deal? Oh, your deal is bad stats. Maybe that's what I should do. Ooh. Do I have enough 15s to dark summon one? There's one. Four summons, though. I have quite a few that are dark summonable. I can find a pair of commons that are lower level. Don't think I'm going to, though. I think what I'm going to do is try to find that Torvald one, this level 16. Yeah, I'll play him uh, tonight because I do actually think he's pretty good. Not great, but, like, pretty good. You know? You get me? I'm going to try him out. Maybe I put him in the middle, Archer in the back. And Torvald's, what, 16? So we can use... 16, 17, 18. Let's get a freaking win right here. Guaranteed, pretty much. Not guaranteed, I shouldn't say that. I shouldn't have said that. I said it, though. I did say it. Oh, I am such an idiot sometimes. There we go. Torvald, then the warrior. There we go. All right. Do I keep the build? I don't know. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna you know, just kind of... Think about it. What? How many seers do you have? Si says hopeful. Uh, yeah, I have a bunch because I I was going for shapeshifters a long long time ago, and I just kept buying ten out of tens that were berserkers and seers. So I have actually a, a, a stupid number because they all summoned berserkers and seers. Hardly got any shapeshifters. But I digress. Regardless. Physical attack, and then that one's pierce. I kind of want this divination one. That physical attack, sweet. 1x whiz as percent. Physical and magical attack for two turns. All right, we're going to try that. I think I keep rejuvenation stone, even though it wasn't always great. I got to, I think, try the barrier instead of the time sink. All right, and then... Ooh, that's the one I should have used with the shapeshifter. Evasion and, and heal. That's great. And we'll give you the artificer. All right, all right. Otherwise, I like what I'm working with. Let's see, let's see. This is a big test for the seer right here. Let's seer. 16, 17, 18 average, level 17 Rockety Bockety is rocking out with us tonight. Do I go for the Hunter's Mark early? I, I'm sometimes torn. I think I still would just go with the Piercing Shot. And then let's see what happens from here. 177. There three turns go. See, this, this guy's slower, though. He is slower than the other Seer I was playing with. Not starting off at the front. I should have had her with Chioli here. That would have been a good combo because then they both would have started before the box. Really like that. Oh, and the, yeah, and the, ah, the Artificer doesn't go into effect till their first turn. So that mattered a lot there. They got a bunch of damage in. Very intriguing. But for now, I think I start with, all right, the next two skills cost 80% less MP and have 8% physical and magic accuracy. So if I do that on... Robbie here, Mr. Rose Punch, the level 18 warrior in the front with the gore blade and the buckler and the fully decked out knight armor. It's only one. It says only one there. That's a typo. Well, it's either a typo or it's not, work or it's not working right. So good to note. What is my base uh, accuracy is plus 8%. Oh, that's for two turns. I see. Wait a second. Oh, but the next mana cost thing is only one turn. Okay. Oh, and it shows my mana costs as reduced. Wow, okay, that's cool. Okay, okay, okay. I'm tracking on some things here. 6 MP to, to just try out a final blow. Ooh. 
88%. But I can cast it. Do I have a cooldown on it? Four. Four turns. So I can't cast it again. All right. Near 100% Gladiator Strike, though. I will take that. Sticks, welcome to the chat. This is a warrior, my friend. Warrior. Uh, yeah. Good stuff. Good to have you all here. And then let's let's drop this now. Yeah. It would be sweet if I dropped Divination now because you'd have 100% hit rate with Rapid Onslaught. Which I would like. I would like a lot. That would be so nice. Woo! Torvald's getting busted up in the back. I might. I think I'm just going to use a healing potion though over the stone. That's the thing. Because he is not very fast, so he does not leapfrog. Yeah, he's going to get bopped. One sheep's already out, but I might as well give it a shot. Should have used the barrier. What was I thinking? I wasn't thinking. Wasn't thinking. Combo active. Let's see here. 100%. I still get 100. Oh, I still have the accuracy. That's right. I keep forgetting that. That's great. I do like that a lot. I'm not going to lie to you. 100% accuracy on Rapid Onslaught. It's pretty nice. No crits, though. That was annoying. Could have gone for a crit. You know, it would have been all right if you had done that. Rob. Got to use a potion because he's going to get bopped by this dude if I don't. Hunter's Mark slowly working down the board. Oh, he cheaped. Nice. So I didn't have to use the potion. Body slam. Every time I'm right, 60% of the time. That's right. And you got interrupted. Great. Wonderful. Vundaba. Rapid shot against two cheaps. I do. This is the main reason I like rapid shot. It's really good against two cheaps. You can really just still mess one up, and it doesn't really matter. In this situation, because and when this situation happens, I'm just trying to kill their whole team. Uh huh. I have one turn left till rapid onslaught. Okay, we'll do that. You take how much? Fifty-seven damage. So I don't really need to worry about her. But I, mm, you, you're not a luck archer. I'm just gonna go piercing shot. I am, you know, I'm worried that he's going to self-cleanse that, but I'm not that worried. It's going to be tight, but I should be able to get the kill in before his next turn, and he can't cast um, Lay Egg this turn because he's exhausted. Oh, it's too tight. Rob Rose Punch is stuck behind. That is so bad. That is so bad. Okay, well, I'm going to have to kill the eggs then. And possibly because of that block put an extra turn into this dude we will see yep there it is risky if this applies to all three that's really good yeah sweet All right, two turns till I can use Rapid Onslaught. What's my final blow look like? I have 72% chance. Tempting. Just going to play it safe for now. Use Gladiator Strike. 105, you take, what, 57 each there? Okay. Kander Gander, welcome, welcome. Mr. Filthy McNasty. All right, I'm, I'm presented with the age-old choice. Surety or risk? Which risk do I want to take if risk? Like, do I get what, that 10% crit chance? Do I just go for the fat damage? I'm a showman above all else. Got the back one. That is like worst possible outcome. Oh, but no, you're going to die to your bleed. That's great. Actually, this is pretty good. Pretty good as far as outcomes go. Unless you self-cleanse, you stupid egg. You're dead to your own hunter's mark. Yep, there we go. I'm a genius. I planned all that, obviously. Obviously planned that. Seer, as you can see, did a great job in that one. He's too, that low health. I'm going to I'm gonna have to do some dark summoning work with the seers that I have at 15, which I'm very excited for. Don't get me wrong. 
Uh, so I'm noticing that their health's low. I might just do the, the VIT stone, but then don't put any points into VIT strategy. Uh, I do like that one. I heard, I think, uh, Justin Franz talking about it earlier. And then um, maybe try one with Wiz Stone. It does have some int modifiers. Let me go count that out before I call it for the day. Ooh, Ingrid's up in the pores, though. Yo. Do I do... Ooh, ooh, wait. I, I'm, I'm all right. This is my loot team I want to try to show you. All right, one more. We're going to do a boar. This one doesn't have a seer in it. Sorry. Sorry, everyone. I'm just excited about it. Where are you? Where in the hell? Dewdrop? You're on a hunt, Dewdrop? No, no. Did I not end, end that one? Oh, oops. Sorry, Dewdrop. Sorry. My bad, Dew. My bad, Dewdrop. My bad. Yup, yup, says Beave. To tune fed, looks like. All right, everyone, I hope you're having a great night. Uh, does anyone know what's, who's anyone going live after me? Do I need to like, keep in mind time? I'm not sure. KP is normally on. So I've been doing this to level up these luck archers, right? I just put them with my level 20 so they get the maximum amount of XP that I can give them by doing the highest level uh, boars that they can do. XP farming. Easy peasy. This one, Dewdrop White Hill, is a new one though. Level fifty, level 15 summon that I did. One, one luck ahead of Ingrid here. So together they got 95. And then I throw on my Shapeshifters 28. Which isn't really a calculated luck thing. He just happens to have like decent-ish, not great luck. Um, so what is that? 95 plus... 28, that's 123, 123 luck. I'm kind of into it. Oh, you get a 15 ability now. Congratulations. Congratulations. Well done. I think I am, you know, I don't know. Her dex is just so low. <sighs> Probably should still go piercing though. I am addicted to it now. She was the only archer that I still had it on the multi-shot. Just if you're still watching. Yeah. No, yeah, yeah, Sarge, what Beeb's saying in chat is true. Everyone, send your thoughts, prayers to Starbuck. He needs them right now. All right. All right. I want to just see if I get some loot here. Sorry. You, are you guys still here? My bad. My bad. Was I going to do something? I don't think so. I did the giveaway. That was the big thing. Shout out Crypto Baby H if you're here. You won Torvald, one of my Sears, level 16, rare. Pretty good stuff, if I say so myself. And I am, in fact, saying so myself. So take that as you will. Oh, wow. Love that. That's a pretty nice result. They're, they're, the boars are making me feel better about my life. XP farming these two guys to 20 so I can burn them together. What? Couldn't be me. Couldn't be me. I couldn't be the one doing that. These are what level boars? It's level 17. Pretty solid work I just did there. Like not Karakat level of speed, but just clean. Just a clean opening. Both nuzzles coming out. Neither one taking the boar above 50% health. Hard, hard to get much cleaner of an opening than that. I probably should have dropped that piercing on the mama boar. Oh well. Oh well. Things happen. Life happens at the speed of sound. Oh, and I'm taunted. This is great. This is great. This is what I want to do in this situation is kind of like put as much damage on mama as I can until his taunt or until um, she does war cry or bah, bah, wild charge. And then at that point, kill the babies if they if I need to, or if she's low enough, just kill her. Block there's annoying. Ah, see, but the early wild charge, good. So now, well, well, you're still taunted, but regardless, your guys' small stones are off cooldown? Not quite yet. Top range, top range of damage. Let's see it, let's see it. Oh, so close. Big miss. 
Big miss again. All right. Oh, it misses returned in kind. Ooh, double crit, no days on you though, unfortunate. Try again. No days again, unfortunate. Headbutt? No, thank goodness. Do that. Oh, you are just freaking up, son. Golly. Golly. There we go. Had to get just basic on him. Had to get basic on him with a basic attack on that. Jeez. Galfi, what are you doing? My guy. Oh, I really hope you guys give me a drop. Really would love that. TBH. Just saying, team. One forty nine. Probably gonna let Galforn die, but whatever. That's fine. One seventy. Does he crit? Nineteen percent chance. Doesn't do it. Dead Galforn. Taunted. Wow. Just generous refs today. Generous refs on that one. Cool. It's good going back to Old Faithful. I, I really just wanted to get XP on these guys, and I know I'd forget if I didn't do it right now. All right. All right. Ladies, gentlemen, boys, bloaters, beavers, ragweeds. All right, everyone. Let me see if we can do this correctly, all right? We're gonna be going out with style, and um, I, I'm, thinking, I'm thinking that it might be time. We can all argue about how we got here. We're all responsible, it's a catastrophic mess. The risk managers lost control. Goldman and Morgan Stanley are going down now. The nightmare scenario is already here, we're in it. You can't just hand the banks piles of cash. And what do I say when they ask me why it wasn't regulated? Main Street wants Wall Street to pay. 35,000 jobs just disappeared in this city. Got to start stacking sandbags. I just lost $90 million. Personally. The idea of Mythic Squad uh, being too big to fail. You level up like that, you get put in the pit. Right away. No Moshas, no nothing. No stone heroes, yeah, we, we put them right in the pit. All basic abilities, right to the pit. Archers under 50 decks, in the pit, right away. Rarity's too low, you go in the pit. Also, if your rarity is too high, you go in the pit. Too high, too low. Either way, you're in the pit. Now the Mythic Squad, the people's guild. A passion for making